In care in England, more than 75,000, but often the reasons for deciding to put a child in care aren't always clear, with family court judgments usually shrouded in secrecy. But thanks to a Court of Appeal decision today, we can now report on one disturbing case. Our correspondent, Sancho Berg, has been talking to a mother about her struggle with the courts. Taking a child away from their home and family into care is the most drastic step any court can take. It changes lives forever. One mother almost lost her two-year-old daughter for good. The case was based on what the Court of Appeal called the slimmest of evidence. We've had to protect her identity. I was shocked. I just didn't understand. It made me question the family law system because what had happened didn't justify putting her up for adoption. The little girl suffered from allergies and was prescribed an EpiPen. On two occasions, when she seemed to be suffering an attack, her mother injected and took her to hospital. However, doctors thought she might be deliberately harming her daughter. The mother was arrested, her daughter taken into foster care. No charges were brought, but the family court said she should be adopted after two care plans failed. I was told my chances of winning were almost nil, but I thought I've got to try to do my best for my daughter. The mother appealed and won. After fighting for years, she now has her daughter home. She's scathing about the family court. I don't feel like it protects families. It protects bad practice because basically they are a law unto themselves and nobody is able to challenge them because it's all done in secrecy. The case was heard here in Portsmouth but only came to light because it went to the Court of Appeal. For many years now there's been talk of opening up the family courts but in some places that simply hasn't happened. So we have very little detailed information about care cases in some parts of the country. We asked Southampton City Council if they had any comment on this specific case and they didn't respond to that issue. This case cost the mother £60,000, money she struggled to raise. She wasn't eligible for legal aid. At a time when there are more care cases and less money, many say there must be more scrutiny of the powerful family courts. Sancherberg, BBC News.